I tell you, we had. Thank you, everybody. Please have a seat. Have a seat, everybody. We had we had a high old time last night yeah, we doing did. the show after the Super Bowl. So that was exciting yeah. to, to do a show for about one specific thing, especially like we didn't mean to do it live. We meant to do it just a little bit after the Super Bowl right. so our jokes could be about things we actually saw in the Super Bowl, <laughs> but then the Super Bowl went so damn long <laughs> that we actually recorded the show live yeah. Yeah. that night. And that's always a little exhausting because I'm so excited after a live show that I can't go to bed till like 2 or 3 o'clock in All the morning. Right. But you know, when you're, when you're feeling a little under the weather because you've been up late at night, there's really only one name you want to see on the board about who you're talking to that night. It's Mr. John Oliver will be out here in just one second. Right there. Woo! There go. Yeah. 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 Ba da 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 da. And uh, folks, following the show, stick around for After Midnight with Taylor Tomlinson. Now, folks. <laughs> folks, I spend most of my day right over there in the news armory, hand hammering the day's biggest stories into the most topical pass guard cuirass. Greaves and vam plates, then carefully gilding it all with the Tudor rose and cipher of Elizabeth I to produce for you the powerful yet exquisite Jacob Halder Cumberland armor garniture that is my monologue. But sometimes I crash a stolen jet ski into an abandoned grist mill where I use a busted chunk of cinder block to pound a corrugated shard into a cask and plonk it on my dome to charge into battle against my demons wearing the slapdash berserker skull bucket of news that is my segment. This is, the arm, this is the armor of the Lord. This is the armor of truth. <laughs> Meanwhile, a Kentucky school has declared Super Bowl Monday a school holiday. <laughs> Students are encouraged to take the day to observe family traditions like washing vomit off the ceiling and <laughs> bailing Uncle Pat out of jail again. According to the school district's Facebook page, giving students the day off is just another way that we are reimagining <laughs> school. Specifically, we are reimagining it as a place that is closed. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's New York Fashion Week, and this year, baby bumps rule and tots are taking to the runway as fashion celebrates motherhood. Yes, the fashion industry <laughs> salutes mothers everywhere because you produce children with the tiny hands that can work the looms real good. <laughs> Little bit. Meanwhile, Taco Bell just unveiled new dessert items that were inspired by Mountain Dew's Baja Blast, including this Baja Pie. <laughs> Not sure what the flavor is, but I'm gonna guess Crest? Meanwhile, the USDA is warning that Trader Joe's chicken pilaf may contain rocks. <laughs> we should have seen this coming. It says right on the package, new boulder flavor. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let's do that second one. Let's take that second one. There you go. Meanwhile, breaking news from five million years ago because a 13-year-old found a five-million-year-old fossil, and now there's a new species of walrus named in his honor. <laughs> Introducing the new species, Kyle. <laughs> Meanwhile, in food news, Pizza Hut will deliver goodbye pies with a breakup message for Valentine's Day. Oh, good! Because up till now, giving your loved one Pizza Hut for Valentine's Day only implied that you wanted to break up. <laughs> Here's how she works. Here, here it is. According to their website, breakups are awkward. We can help. Send a free hot honey goodbye pie from now through Valentine's Day, and the delivery driver will deliver the bad news in the best way. We do not pay delivery drivers enough. Uh... One medium pie for Doug. Uh, here you go. Also, Liz says these past two years have been great, but you don't want kids, and she does. But you know what they say about broken hearts? No one out pizzas of the hut. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Apple's Vision Pro buyers are upset to discover that VR porn doesn't work. 
with one user claiming it's a $3,500 chastity belt. <laughs> I think you're wearing it wrong. <laughs> the gripe... <laughs> the gripe that users have is that the Vision Pro will only play flat videos from explicit websites like Pornhub, but there's no feature that plays pornographic footage as a 180-degree side-by-side video, a more immersive type of video. And with no immersive video, it just makes the prospect of watching pornography in public while wearing $3,500 goggles seem wrong. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Meanwhile, in sports news, recently a few billionaires announced the Enhanced Games, billed as the Doping Legal Olympics. And now, in order to win the biggest prize of the Enhanced Games, Australian swimmer James Magnuson says he'll juice to the gills. Literally, he's going to take so many drugs, he will grow actual gills. <laughs> we'll be right back with John Oliver. <laughs>